it's nice out. I mean, the sun finally came out. It's cloudy, it's breezy. It's uh, 77 degrees on a Friday. What more could you ask for? Just don't run over my sun. So we're just gonna, again, we're just warming up, seeing how things feel, see who's out here. So I think today we're gonna go backwards of our normal ride. So this will be uh, the heavy metal option two ride. Let's see if that uh, that pans out. Again, we're just taking it easy. You know, I constantly get, when I say, hey, come on out, ride at Hidden Falls. I constantly get people saying, oh, that's too rough for big bikes. Well, it really isn't. I mean, is this rough? I mean, it's, it's not a flat, you know, improved road. But it's really not rough. I mean, you do have a few obstacles here and there. I mean, this, nothing here is, I mean, I, you can see I'm seated. So you do have this crossover right here. That's easy. You got this little climb right here. That's easy. I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? So if you're, you're just wanting to, you, you've graduated from just the improved gravel roads and you want to come out here. Yeah, there's a lot of embedded rocks, so you do have to navigate. I'm going to go ahead and close this just because um, it's windy out. You do have to navigate. I mean, you can't just blindly ride down the road because you got some pretty big embedded rocks. Oh uh, yeah, and I have that brand new uh, Shinko on the back. So we'll go ahead and disable our uh, traction control and all that stuff so we can actually get her to spin up. Now we should be able to get some good, good grip and spin on that tire. Much better than the last time I was out here. Last time I was out here, I could barely uh, I was all over the place. So again, you know, I could take this whole ride pretty much fully seated with, with just a, suit, a few obstacles. I mean, you got some jumps here that you can do once you get more comfortable. It is, there is some loose stuff, so it'll be more difficult if you have the street oriented tires versus the, the knobbies. So this is with the brand new Shinko, and we'll have to see how this handles. Yeah, nice. Rear end brakes loose. Get a nice controlled little power slide there. Very nice. So this is the place for you to come out and practice that stuff. Yeah, you can practice that on an improved gravel road, um, but it's not gonna give you the, the true sense of what you're practicing because now you're in the wild, you're in the real world. So this is where it's gonna count because you have obstacles coming in and out of that. So I wouldn't really call this an obstacle. It's just, you know, some, some rough stuff that you gotta deal with. But all of this stuff is totally doable. Yeah, it's gonna be warm today, it's 74. It really helps having that new tire on. I'm really digging it. Can't wait till I get to some of the rougher stuff. And look, you got some mud there. You wanna, you wanna try mud? You got mud right there. So this ride is really designed that there's easy to the right is totally easy. But if you want to challenge, then maybe you go uh, up the shelf. Practice your shelf riding and your maneuvering in this loose stuff. So you really do have lots of options on this ride with your big bike. If you are not comfortable with riding 
this kind of stuff. You can see I'm not really going fast, so it's not like you have to be jamming and it's, you know, really, um, you know, this is all easy stuff here. Even some, you know, even stuff like this, it's pretty easy. See, you just roll right over it. Then you might have some, some downhills like this that might be a little bit more challenging, but nothing you can't handle if you have control of your bike. If you don't have control of your bike, you're going to come up to something like that and you're going to panic, and that's when you're going to get into trouble. So no panicking. See, I've come up to this. You know, I'm committed here. I didn't panic. I see where I'm going to go. I'm going to take the easy route out. I could have made that more difficult. So if you're more advanced and you want to challenge yourself, you have plenty, plenty of opportunities to do that. And again, I'm not jamming. I'm not going fast. I'm just, this is my warm up. This is my first ride of the day. I'm feeling how the loosen breaks loose. I'm just feeling how things are and, and just getting used to riding. So you come up to something like this, you really have lots of options here if you like to come up and want to get that front end up the ground and do a spin you know a slide through that you can you could have come to the left there which gives it makes it a little bit more challenging so there's there's options on the route that is a beginner for um not a beginner first time dirt but beginner to intermediate for you know riding off road so it's not going to be extreme there's not going to be really heavy duty stuff nothing you can't handle on your gs your your tiger your whatever you have you know your nord uh the norton you know all of that stuff africa twin whatever you know it's just skill practice and getting comfortable see right there to the left that's a nice little rock garden you can practice but see here's the easy so if you're wanting a more of a challenge go left that'll challenge you maybe not like extremely challenge you but it's going to be easier than than this you know there's always going to be loose stuff there's always going to be you know rocks and stuff like that so it's not like i said it's not like an improved road out there on the county roads the dirt roads so that's where we normally come from that's not a problem either that's fairly easy all of this is fairly easy there's some, you know, low traction, high traction, obstacles, you name it. And as you get, you know, maybe your first time through this, you take it easy like I am. And then the second time you jam it because now you're warmed up. You know, it's coming up. Um, we are going to go. We're gonna, we're trying to um, scout out this new route. So we're gonna try this. Yeah, lazy man. So that's what we wanted. So it's exactly what it says. And it's lazy man. This is not hard. Doesn't mean you're not gonna have some challenges with some loose stuff and some uh, little shelves and things like that, that you're gonna have to maneuver through but it's, it's a graduating thing. So you got some loose stuff. Now you're coming up to some more shelves. You have to navigate. You can go straight right through this. Very easy, you can go around it. It's all about control. So the more comfortable you are controlling your bike and having control, uh, the easier it's going to be. So up here is what I call the obstacles. So you have, you know, a few obstacles here that you can challenge yourself on. Those are probably expert, more difficult. This one right here, I'm going to say is intermediate. 
because there's many ways you can go and approach this. So I'm going to take the easy route. So that was pretty easy. Get a little bit of air. You got to be careful though, because if you come if you come out of control and you hit. limits and when I call when I say limits it's you have control of your bike if you're out of control and you don't have control of the bike then you're beyond your limit because you should never lose control of the bike that doesn't mean it's not going to be sliding and slipping and this and that but you you're the one who's determining that and you're the one who has the ultimate control of that so I do know where it goes left here. So again, here you have a difficult climb. This just goes around. So it's gonna come, you can go up any of that right there to challenge yourself and it's just gonna come around. So you get a lot of spurs that come off the, the beginner ride. So if you chose not to take that, then, then don't take it, you know, save it for another day. This is a fairly fast section. You always have to remember you're not the only one out here, so always ride right and be aware. Again, riding within your ability. Again, we're not the only ones out here. Have fun though, you know? So name of the game. So there's a spur off to the right. That's probably because when it gets really muddy, that might be difficult right there. But it's nothing, you know, you got some crossovers here, which you could, you could lift the front wheel off that and lift up over that. So I'm always, I'm always scouting up ahead to make sure there's no one coming around. So there's a blind turn, now it's not blind. There's a blind turn. And I am looking for any sign through the bushes, anywhere, that there's someone else coming. Because I'm not looking at where I'm going as far as like, I'm just riding because I'm, it's all automatic. It's not because I know, I mean, I haven't done this in a few weeks, so. It, yeah, it's familiar, but I don't know every nick and cranny of it. So that's a fun little spot over there. But we'll keep going on this see where it brings us so i know this is not going to be a fast section for for someone so i'm not worried about not riding right i can see they're not going to be sliding around the corner now they may be over here but you got plenty of options sometimes it's good to take the ruts so we're going to go this way uh, just because i think that's going to be a little more advanced so we want to keep it to the beginner now it may just come around if i'm not mistaken it may just come around to that yeah i think it does so go for it that's another spur okay so more challenges here easy to intermediate just pick pick where you want to go and be committed to it when you when you falter that's when you get in trouble so i scanned i saw you know where i needed to go and I just did it and I had to be committed even if it wasn't the perfect uh, line you have to be committed okay so we're gonna keep going on lazy man okay now we're on the west loop Again, nothing too challenging. It gets a little bit more, a um, little more challenging just because, you know, there's some shelves and some loose stuff like that. And, but again, don't panic. Just don't panic. Just, you know, rely on your, so that's Vista. We're gonna keep on the West Loop. 
Just rely on your training. Rely on your confidence and rely that, you know, panic is what gets you in trouble. You come across something and it's like, oh shit, I'm not ready for this. I'm not lined up for this. Well, guess what? You got to go through it. The alternative is to drop the bike or hurt yourself or crash or whatever. So you might as well commit to doing the best you can to get through that. I know some might say, well, that's not a beginner ride. No, it's not a beginner ride for first time off road, but it's a beginner ride for um, adventure bike riders that are comfortable, you know, on loose stuff and riding, riding off road on, you know, class two, maybe class one and class two, because you will encounter some class three over here. Um, and those are usually the spurs. So I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say this is beyond uh, what someone can do on a big bike, even if it's their first time here to this adventure park. So again, we're, we're, we're seeing what we have. We've already seen that that's not a problem. I could probably take this seated, but I won't. I can see the out, and I can also see that there's a more difficult route to take or line i keep calling it a route but it's really the line so you this this kind of riding teaches you to make that decision you know you can't hesitate if you hesitate you're in trouble you know sometimes stopping to scout and look yeah that's if it's really bad but i know that there's not going to be anything really bad on here and you know when i run a guided so now it gets a little more rocky so this is just relying on your skill so really it's, it's fairly solid um, traction there so it's really nothing too too hard you know and then you got this little shelf here practice your shelf that's a baby little shelf you just roll right up it sometimes you have to thread the needle and sometimes you know you take what you're given all right, so I'm pretty sure this gets gnarly from here, from what I remember. So I'm gonna take a look. So that's the red oak, and that right there is gonna be probably gnarly. I've taken that on the um, red oak turkey run, so we'll try that. I don't know if I've come down this. Don't you dare drop the bike. Why do I feel like my brake's on? Uh, maybe it's, I'm hitting this. So I'm not used to my foot brake um, where it is. And I'm probably, while I'm standing up, I'm riding it. All right, so this will be a new run for me. So the, yeah, this is beyond the, uh, yeah, let's take a look. Let, let's take a look. Don't ride with a full tank. That's plenty to get me around. I have fuel back at the uh, camp, but you know, there's no sense in riding with a full tank. All right, so we'll go on to the next section. So yeah, you do have some loose stuff. So even if you were coming on this first time, you can come up to here and say, okay, this is a piece of cake. That's a nice drop there. And I saw that when coming through. You know, use both your brakes. Use your front brake and your rear brake and use your front brake when you have uh, good traction. So I'm in full manual, so that means I'm shifting just like you would with a clutch. All right, so this looks, you know, already just looking at it, I can see that, okay, there's a good out. It's just, which way do I wanna go? We're gonna go right down the middle. We have a nice shelf here, no problem. Lots of traction. Uh, you could probably do this on like a Trail Max mission, uh, that kind of a, of a tire. I wouldn't do it on a, with your street tires on your GS or any you know KTM or anything like that that's gonna have, that's a big bike and it's just gonna have street tires. Again, this is a beginner ride. So for you advanced guys, yeah, you can do it. So I'm hoping this comes out where I'm thinking it does, because I really wanted to add that to this ride. So again, more shelves, nothing. See, just thread the needles right there and you take your most easy route if that's what you need. Uh, I'm not working hard right now because I'm just shooting this video. So I'm going to, you know, because I want to show you really how easy this is. Okay, so I already scoped it. I see my, my line, commit to it, lots of traction. You know, any, any road, any trail, anything is gonna be subject to weather. 
So they're always going to be harder when the weather's harder. Okay, so we're going to go left here because I think this is what we want. So you got a play pond right there. If you want to play in the mud, go around it. North Peak, let's see what we got. Okay, so if you saw last my last video on my rescue video, this is the road I was talking about. So this, I'm going to say, is going to be your intermediate to advance, but let's see how a big bike does on it. Now, I have done it once before, but I took a different route. I went around and so on. So we're going to show you the easy route, and I may come back down and do the hard route. So here's the easy route. You're going to cross over right here. You could cross back over right there so you can see you're going to be in that loose stuff if you go down, you know, you got that, you got to navigate. So it is going to be a little more difficult. Now this crossover is fairly easy, not a problem. Um, then you just take in this, again, you just take it easy, have control. It looks intimidating up ahead, but it really isn't. Crossing over. See, I'm making these decisions as I go. Now, I see there's someone up there, so I'm gonna hesitate for a second because they're probably where I want to be, which they are. The difficult route is gonna be straight here, going up this, up those shelves. There's a pretty big shelf up there. Your easy route is gonna be where that truck is stuck. Uh, that truck has no business being up here. Always bring water when you come out here. You never know what situation you're gonna be in, especially when you're riding alone. Bring water. All right, so let's give it a shot. I probably wouldn't wanna be that far left anyways, but you know what? This is what we're given, and this is what we're gonna take. So, just be on your toes and be ready for whatever comes up to you. Yeah, no, no problem. So I'm already scoping it. I'm already, already looking for my, my way around and I don't like it. So I'm stopping. Okay, so here's the situation. This, I'm gonna call this an advanced situation because you're stopped. This is do or die. Yeah, see, I don't have momentum. No, it's just this. I, I can't come at that at a standstill. Yeah, because I'm wondering if I went that way. All right, let's just see what happens. All right, we're still good. Because it's fairly, that's doable. You just got to have the momentum and be in the... Be in the right mindset, you know? You gotta be ready for it. You can't, it's hard to start cold. All right, let's give it a look. A cold climb, which again, gotta get the momentum going. Okay, we just gotta go. That's the problem, is getting that traction. There we go, piece of cake. So it really, it's, it's a lot easier than it looks. It's just that with that stalled vehicle there, it really messes you up when you, when you can't continue and it throws you off your, your momentum and your line. So we're taking a look and see what we got. We got some pretty, if not, we'll just turn around and go back up this and go down that. Trying to remember what I did. You're not gonna make it up that waterfall up there, that's for sure. 
mounted a bike like this, you know, I, I'm kind of have a feeling there's a way around that, but I'm not going to even attempt it alone and, you know. So you have a fairly good turnaround spot up here. So depending on what kind of shelves you have coming out of this, you know, standing up helps you. So this is good practice because this is fairly easy right here. This is going to be easy for you. Just glide right up it. And then you have a turnaround spot right here. So here's a good spot for you to practice your your turnaround. Just come up, roll back, and you're turned around. And take this. This is a piece of cake. I was thinking this was different than what I, uh, I remember I turned around up there, so. I knew better than to keep going. Again, this is all easy traction. So really, I mean, this is, I'm going to say this is pretty intermediate. Um, definitely not beginner. So this will be the intermediate ride versus the first one I posted, which is going to be more of a beginner. But this is a piece of cake. It's If you're not comfortable with going downhill, then you're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to wait. All right, guys. Have a good day. Hopefully I don't fall leaving. There you go. All right. So we should just come, come go down the way we came up. And that should be a piece of cake. So again, a lot easier when there's no traffic. You know, you do have a go around here. So if you wanted to go around that, you can go around here, come up this instead of that, but then you have to cross over here. But yeah, so you have a shelf, not a, not a big deal. You know, downhill sometimes can be intimidating for people just because, you know, you lock it up, you go down, blah, blah, blah. Just go the way you came. So this is the way to go. Make sure you have momentum. Okay, so you saw that I, I got thrown off my line, but you have to take what you are given. So I didn't panic. Um, I remember this one being a pretty. So we're we're not gonna we're not gonna do anything stupid. So yet yeah, we'll see what happens. We just want to get through this because this is a place where you can have trouble and then from here we're just going to glide on so let's glide on dab if you need to use your brakes keep yourself out of trouble it's all having confidence panic is what always gets you in trouble so you you didn't you didn't go the way you wanted to go you just got to you got to deal with it, but you got to be smart. You're not going to go off something that there's no chance you're going to make it and then you're going to hurt yourself or your bike. Then, then you just drop the bike and lay it over and reassess. So again, this very easy, all seated. This is what you're coming up. Just got to be careful of the branches. So you have a, a go around here, right? So this is our, our easy way out. Again, a beginner ride. Not a beginner, intermediate, I'm gonna call this. So you can cross over here. Um, I'm gonna cross over right here. Fairly easy. Just let her roll through it and you're good. So, you know, riding adventure bikes, there are challenges. It's not all gonna be a flat road piece of cake. Uh, again, that that is, is way more doable if there's no traffic and you have to stop so i did that a couple weeks ago and then i didn't 
I didn't stop. I just went up to the top. So you want to challenge yourself on your big bike? That's totally doable. You're going to want to have good tires. I did that on a Trail Max mission. Not muddy conditions, same conditions as right now. It's all relative. Any, any road you take, any track you take, anything is going to be relative to um, the terrain. See, you can get a little bit of air. It's a lot you can do. All right, so we're gonna reset. You know, this is this is a good opportunity if you want to get air because you have solid solid material there. Now we're coming back through this stuff. This stuff wasn't really bad. Um, fairly good traction. Just a lot of embedded rock. Use that front brake. Don't be afraid to use that front brake. That's your main source of stopping power relative to the track. The signage out here is pretty good. So if you if you have the map and you kind of know where you're going, you can see that this is the ridge trail. So this is probably the trail I wanted to take. So we'll pick it up here at the ridge trail. Again, we're looking up ahead, see if anyone's coming around, scoping my line. My line looks good. I see where I'm going next. And I also see all the embedded rocks. Very easy. High traction area. You know, you still got to cross over. You still have things you need to maneuver, so this teaches you line assessment, you know, picking your line while you're going. You know, get used to getting that front end up over those ruts like that, because you don't want to take them front wheel first. You want to you want to be able to lift and go up over those. Okay, so this is what I remember. So over here we got some fairly easy stuff so we'll come up uh, wildcat let's see what this is i don't remember but hey the only one way to find out right so this is totally doable anywhere up here go right down the middle whatever there's some loose stuff you have some shells just don't get stuck in a hole very easy intermediate for sure now you have options so you can go around over here and get a different look at it. So just, just by knowing that to the left, it's gonna be easier. So you wanna cross over right here, because that's gonna be a little difficult. You're still gonna end up in that. So I would take this route for the intermediate beginner, a lot of good traction. You are gonna have some stuff up here. So be prepared for it, loose rock. Um, whatever it's going to be here so this one i'm going to go left and then i'm going to loft the bike up and over that that uh, rear wheel grabbed a little bit more than i thought it would um but yeah you know that's that's all part of the practice it's lofting up over that stuff here you gotta uh i'm gonna call it a rock garden but it's not loose rock so very very good traction uh this is a nightmare when it's muddy i've come down this before when it's been muddy and it's the slick rock here gets really especially when it's all puddled up all right so we're assessing and we're going to choose to go left just because we can see it so i have an option of going around this which I'm not. I'm going to go this way just because I can see it. I know where it's coming out. Right? And I'm not doing... I'm keeping enough momentum that I'm not going to stall. Yeah, there are some shelves. There are some loose rock. Just, you know, pick your line. Fairly easy. Nothing, nothing that, that you can't handle um, as an intermediate rider. You know, this is all high traction. It is bumpy, so you gotta pick your route. 
So we'll take a look at this. This is a piece of cake, so we're gonna come down this. Just stay away from them big rocks. Beautiful view up here. Sorry guys, I gotta get a picture of my little mountain goat in front of all your uh, your four wheelers here. Yeah, turning in this uh, this loose stuff, you just gotta keep your momentum. Go a little wider than you normally would. Just keep your momentum because uh, you're gonna hit one of those rocks and stall. So you don't want to do that. Probably gonna want to get around these guys. Let's see what I can do. Again, momentum, keep your momentum, pick your line. Don't stall out. Don't panic. All good. Piece of cake. This is a high traction. You just gotta make sure you don't hit something you don't want to. But if you do, deal with it. Because you have no choice. So yes, this can be intimidating, but just keep your momentum. You'll make it through it. So when you, you're going too slow, you're gonna stall, you're going too fast, you're gonna get bounced all over the place and lose that uh, control that we were talking about. Always want to have that control. And it takes practice. I mean, you can't expect to be riding your bike on the weekends on easy stuff and then come out here and try and do some of the harder stuff. Um, it's just not going to happen. You've got you to train and practice for it. You may be a really skilled rider, but again, you're not an intermediate or beginner. You're a skilled rider. So I don't say that I'm a skilled rider. I'm intermediate. I'm not advanced. Okay, so this is what we what we did. So we're just gonna repeat it. Stay away from those rocks. Steer with your pegs. Use your body. You got this, right? Use that front brake to slow yourself down if you need to. There's good traction here. Pick your line. Be committed to it. So I'm committed to this hole. No big deal. We're gonna do it. This is all easy right here. Good traction, use my front brake, keep me slow, um, plus I have good engine braking. So, you know, there's plenty of opportunity to play and have fun on these. But again, nothing, nothing too, you know, that's, that you're not going to be able to do if you've been if you have experience on dirt and then the more you do this the easier it is so seeing what your your line is and and assessing that like on the on the fly it's like okay i'm committed this way if i was committed that way i'd be in trouble you have to make a split second decision to get out of that all right all this is easy so we can go down this way, which I know this is going to be okay. It's like they always say downhill's easier. Well, it really, it's all well relevant to, uh, you know, what you're comfortable with. Downhill, if you make a mistake, you're going to go down hard. So here we've assessed this is not a problem. Again, you can take that seated, but I like to be standing because I want to see. I want to see everything that I'm that I'm looking at. I don't want any any surprises. So we're just gonna take it easy. So this is definitely 
so far beginner to intermediate yeah I mean look at this this is really nice so you you're tired you want to rest I'll come over here a really nice spot take a break you're not blocking anyone very nice all right so a quick pit stop and we'll be back so again very easy this is really going to be an easy route so again we have signs here that tells us where we're go where we're going so just by seeing the 15 mile per hour uh, speed limit we're on a park road which is going to be easy this would be the end of this loop but then there, from here we would take the single track that was a good birthday jam ah. yeah just do a little bit of work and then relax